This is Mrs. Gren. One day Mrs. Gren was watching her favourite television program, Scope, starring Dr. Rob Bell. Dr. Rob Bell was talking about how to tell the difference between living things and things that are not living. Mrs. Gren got very excited and decided to go for a walk around Fremantle to see if she could find any living things for herself. Mrs. Gren walked through the Esplanade Reserve and found a skateboard that someone had left behind. Mrs. Gren stood on the skateboard and it moved. Mrs. Gren remembered that Dr. Rob Bell had said that all living things move. The skateboard must be living, thought Mrs. Gren. Mrs. Gren then saw a man trying to start a campfire. He was blowing on the fire. Mrs. Gren overheard him telling his children that the fire needed to breathe. Mrs. Gren remembered that Dr. Rob Bell had said that all living things breathe. The fire must be living, thought Mrs. Gren. Mrs. Gren continued down the street until she passed a toy shop. As she walked by, the shop doors slid open as if they had sensed she was there. Mrs. Gren remembered that Dr. Rob Bell had said that all living things have senses. The shop must be living, thought Mrs. Gren. Outside the Fremantle markets, a clown was blowing up balloons. They were growing and growing and growing. Mrs. Gren remembered that Dr. Rob Bell had said that all living things grow. The balloons must be living, thought Mrs. Gren. By the pickled fairy shop, a pretty lady was blowing bubbles. One big bubble turned into lots of baby bubbles. Mrs. Gren remembered that Dr. Rob Bell had said that all living things make babies. The bubbles must be living, thought Mrs. Gren. Mrs. Gren walked on past the tip. A truck was pouring lots of waste into the tip. Mrs. Gren remembered that Dr. Rob Bell had said that all living things produce waste. The truck must be living, thought Mrs. Gren. Mrs. Gren then passed a petrol station and saw that someone was filling their car with petrol, giving the car food. Mrs. Gren remembered that Dr. Rob Bell had said that all living things need food. The car must be living thought Mrs. Gren. Mrs. Gren walked home thinking of all the living things that she had seen. As she turned the corner into her street, she ran straight into Dr. Rob Bell. Mrs. Gren told Dr. Rob Bell about all of the living things she had seen. He laughed and said, none of those things are living. He explained that living things can do all of those things, not only one. A skateboard might be able to move, but it cannot breathe or grow. To this day, people remember Mrs. Gren to help them remember all of the things that living things can do.